So I'm here to talk to you about something I've developed called Mind Swipe. I'm going to explain it in a couple of minutes. But first of all, I want you to have a look at that number. Can you see it? 60,000. What do you think that refers to? That's the amount of thoughts that are going to go through your head today. 60,000 different thoughts are going to go through your heads today. I know, it's a lot, isn't it? Now, why is that important? It's important because our thoughts dictate how we feel. They're the ones that give us the emotions. And how we feel is how we spend our day. And how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. So it's really important that we try and focus on as many of those 60,000 thoughts that are coming into our head as we can to make them positive ones. That's the whole point of it. So that's what we want to do. We want to try and be aware of as many thoughts as we can and make sure that we're hanging out with the thoughts that are a good match for us. Mind swipe is something that I came up with and it's kind of like Tinder for your thoughts. Who knows what Tinder is? Ooh, oh, the lads, for oh, the lads. <laughs> Tinder, is there anyone, anyone here who doesn't know what Tinder is? No. And if you are, you're probably too afraid to admit it. Um, that's okay. For anyone who doesn't know, Tinder is the world's most popular dating app. And on this app, you upload your profile, and you put your picture up there and all your information, and then you look at other people's profiles, usually in a particular radius near to you, and if you like somebody, what do you do? You swipe right, and if you don't like them, you swipe left. That's the important thing to remember today. And this is something that we can apply to our thoughts, and it's something that we should apply to our thoughts. Because the reality is that we don't do that. We spend a lot of time swiping right on thoughts that we have every single day that are not a good match for us. If you ever look at someone who's on Tinder, they are exceptionally choosy, aren't they? Really, really fussy. This person comes up, looks perfectly normal, don't like their hair, left. They've got horrible nostrils, left. Wrong head, left. Too many earlobes, left. And it's only the ones that seem to be perfect that match our very specific criteria that we swipe right on. Yet with the 60,000 thoughts we have every day, we just blindly swipe right. We just keep letting those ones in, banking them all, yeah, it's fine. No matter how ugly the thoughts are that we have. Essentially, if somebody, when you guys are using Tinder, you're so fussy, everyone pretty much looks like that in your minds. But these are the thoughts that we keep swiping right on. These kinds of thoughts. He's so much better than me, everyone likes her better, I'm not clever, I'm always left out of things, I'm ugly, I hate my body, I can't talk to people, I don't deserve to be happy. They're the kinds of things that pop into our head and instead of going, I'm not sure that's a match for me, we just keep swiping right. We keep banking these thoughts. And these aren't the only kinds of thoughts that we have. We also suffer from something that I like to call a terrible dose of the shoulds. How many of these kinds of thoughts do we have every single day? The I should have, I should have gotten up earlier. I should be doing more. That one gets way worse as you get older. I should be studying more. I should be more popular. I should be sleeping more. I should be fitter. I should stop saying should all the time. But unfortunately, we tend to just keep swiping right on all the thoughts that aren't a particular good match for us. So, mind swipe is the visualization technique that I have come up with for controlling your thoughts and making sure that you spend more time with the thoughts that are a good match for you, just like you would on Tinder. It's a mental exercise you can do whenever you catch yourself having a thought that will help you to actively choose the thoughts that you want to hang out with and ones that are suited to you. The problem is that we don't just swipe right with these things and have a one night stand, brief flirtation. We start to spend a lot of time with these thoughts. And before we know it, we're going out with these thoughts and we're spending all day with these negative thoughts that are no good for us. And suddenly we're in a long-term relationship with these thoughts. 
And these are thoughts that we keep having. And there's a word for thoughts that we keep having. You know what that is? It's a belief. And this is the long-term relationship thoughts. These are the ones that won't go away. And they're harder and harder to shift. And most of those negative thoughts that we were looking at, and most of those ones that pop into your head, I don't like the way I look. Those people are better than me. They know more than me. He's funnier than me. They all generally tend to stem from one belief that will chase you around like a jilted lover for most of your lives. And it's this one. I'm not good enough. You can usually trace any negative thought, any thought that's making you feel bad, back to this one. And that's the one we need to work on. And how do we do that? So, we start swiping. Whenever we catch ourselves having a thought that's making us feel bad, and they're pretty clear, you know when it's happening, you feel it in the pit of your stomach, you start swiping. So the first thing is, notice that feeling. When you're feeling bad, you go, right, I'm having a thought that's making me feel bad. And then give it a face. Give it its own little Tinder profile. And when you have that in your mind, swipe it left and forget it. And if it pops up again, you swipe it left again. And if you have a good thought, swipe them right. Make a mental note. I'm feeling excited right now. I'm feeling happy. That's a nice thought I'm having. I want more of that. When you get up in the morning, set an intention for yourself. Take two seconds out and say, Today, I'm going to keep an eye on my thoughts, and I'm not going to keep swiping right for all those ones that make me feel bad. I'm going to swipe right only the ones that make me feel good. Picture them in your mind, and be as choosy as you would be if you were on Tinder, because that is your brain. But they are puppies. They don't know what they're doing. Your mind is well-intentioned, but it still pisses on the floor. We have, we have to train. We have to train our minds, because they are puppies. Uh, just like you would go to the gym, you train your body. You have to do exactly the same thing for your mind. With 60,000 thoughts coming into your head every single day, it's tricky. You I mean, you can't keep an eye on all of them. And that's a hell of a lot of swiping. But what if there was a way that you could reduce the amount of swipes that you had to do each day? Reduce the amount of thoughts that are cramming into your head? Well, there is a way you can do it. And that's meditation. Has anyone here ever meditated? Yeah, you do any of it in school? Meditation is scientifically proven to reduce the part of your brain that activates something called mind wandering. And that is when your mind, like that puppy you just saw, is just heading all over the place. And it's worrying about the future, and it's thinking about crappy things that you did in the past, and that makes you feel bad, produces negative thoughts, and it's scientifically proven to increase unhappiness. So meditation reduces the part of your brain that lets it wander around madly like a puppy. And that's why we want to do it. I've done it for six years. It works. You don't even need to know the science. It just works. Did I feel stupid when I started doing meditation? Yes, I did. I couldn't even say the word. I used to say to my wife, I'm going upstairs to move the place. What? I'm going upstairs to, 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 to move the place. I'm pretty sure for the first two years she thought I was looking at porn in the bedroom. But it works. And meditation, by the way, is not that. And it's not that. It's not Instagram. Forget the internet. It doesn't look like this. It's not this either. You probably will not levitate. It's not this guy either. I just liked that picture. <laughs> it's this. This is where I was meditating this morning. If you find a quiet seat on a train, you do it. If it's a quiet classroom in school, Anywhere you can do it. That's the important thing, that you just take a few minutes out, if you can, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. And you do whatever style suits you. It's all over YouTube. You can do guided meditations. You can do a simple breathing exercise. Just focus on your breath for five minutes. You can use a candle. You can use a mantra, a word that you repeat over and over in your head. It's really up to you. The internet is full of ideas. You don't need me to tell you how to go and find the ones uh, that you want to use. Uh, one of my favorite ones is something called 16 Seconds, developed by a guy called David G in California. And literally, it's a meditation that I use. I just used it backstage before I walked out here in front of all you lovely people, because it brings you right down. And if you have a tiny stressful moment in your day, it's a brilliant little trick to use. 
and it will reduce the amount of mind swipes that you have to use in any particular day. So do you want, do you want to try it now? Yeah, let's meditate, people. Let's do this. Woo! Let's just try it, okay? Close your eyes. So the idea is you're going to breathe in for four seconds, hold your breath for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, and leave it out for four seconds. It's a brilliant little trick, and the world and internet is full of these kinds of things, and it really, really helps. But you know what? I'm going to wrap up now, but it was really important to, for me to be here because... 16 is important. I wish when I was 16 somebody had told me that I didn't have to chase every single thought that came into my head. That I didn't have to chase after down the road. I wish if someone told me that I'm not my thoughts. They're just little potential matches that pop up on that tiny little screen in your head. I wish someone had told me there were tools that I could use to lessen the amount of crazy thoughts that were coming into my head. So I think, you know, as a grown-up as an adult, it's our duty to investigate all these kinds of things and pass on the information to people like you. Because you're fantastic and you deserve to have this information. You know, um, adults have made your worlds an awful lot smaller than, than our worlds when we were your age, you know? We've made your worlds so much smaller. And I think it's our duty, the least we can do for you, if we're making your outer world smaller, is give you the tools to master your inner worlds because they're the ones that matter, your hearts and your minds. So, if you get a chance, if you think of it, remember the mind swipe. Remember, it's like Tinder for your thoughts. And whenever it pops into your head, notice your thoughts, visualize them, give them a profile, and then scoot them left or right, depending on how they're making you feel. And be super choosy, or as I like to call it, don't be a thought slut. <laughs> Thanks a million, guys. Enjoy the rest of the festival.